All right, this is the brother Tazaba. Brother Adnan. And we're from the GMS Atlanta camp. We want to start off by giving our glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that teach and that rule well. Salutations unto the Akim throughout the four corners that are putting their life on the line week in and week out. And salutations to the few women and children that subscribe to this truth and faith and sincerity, all charity and subjection, because that is the key. Now, we just wanted to come real quick, you know, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and build off uh, what we have on the screen before you. It says, when you become lazy, it's disrespectful to those who believe in you. And it is, man, because we you got to look at it through the spirit. If you if you know the name of Yahweh Shai, hey, you've been called to uh you've been called into a marvelous light. Especially you men, you've been called to uh you've been called to be the 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 cream of the crop, the elite of the elite. You've been called to be a prophet, a servant of the Lord. So when we when we become lazy or become lukewarm, it's disrespectful to Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father. Why? Because he said, I created you in the womb. I knew I knew you before you was in the womb, roughly paraphrasing. It's you showing the most high that um that basically you 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 uh that he made a mistake in believing in you. Because that it is that, that's the point. It's disrespectful to the Lord because the Lord knows, he knows you. You don't know yourself. And for you to get in the spirit of, I don't know. Ah, oh, man, I, I could do this tomorrow. Hey, the Lord know what you're capable of. That's why when you do get lazy for certain, man, the Lord only brings more hell on your ass until you what? Until you get right, man. Until you get back into that spirit. Into the spirit of things. To get back on that, 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 that level that you dropped off from. Hey, you got to get back on that and push harder, man. Seek the Lord 10 times hard. So it's disrespectful when Jake get in this lukewarm spirit or get in this woe is me spirit and you let up, man. Now you wanted to say something up? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, you can bring out, uh, you had something? Yeah, this is, um, shoot, this is 1 Timothy 6 and 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. So at the end of the day, this is the Lord's business, man. Mm -hmm. You know, as the old saying goes, it's not business, it's not personal, it's business. Mm -hmm. You know, we come out here, uh, financial problems, uh, problems with your uh, significant other. Yeah. Physical ailments. Physical ailments. There's all types of hell that's going on in your head, but you still have a job to do, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so this is a profession at the end of the day and we have to produce, man. That's we, right. We the, like the scripture about the uh, parable of the talents, man. We can't come back to the uh, Lord with a uh, our talent in a napkin and hide our talent, man. Because the scriptures say that He's an austere man. So we uh, that also goes into uh, having a healthy fear of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, man. Because hey, this profession, this is the highest calling profession. Forget you know playing in the NFL and being a celebrity. This is the highest profession that we have. So we have to keep pushing, no matter what's uh, presented. You know, before us. Yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's the spirit that you said fear because if you fear the Most High, you fear you you will even begin to fear yourself. It's like I ain't putting out the same effort I used to put out. You become fearful. It's like y'all becoming lazy. You never become lazy with the Most High because you moving in fear. It's just like with my children. If I if I pull out that belt, I said clean clean the kitchen. And they can be tired. You can you can do, be wanting to do whatever the hell you want to do, tired, whatever. When you see that belt uh, get pulled off that waist, what? You find that energy. Why? Because fear is, uh, fear is kicked in. And you know, yo, I, fear is the greatest motivator. I got to get this done, man. And that that be Jake's problem. Jake lacked fear of, uh, of your high boss, Shemi Abishai. And then on top of that, the Jake is always trying to reinforce and uh, uh, reinforce and uh, renew their spirit through the, the rudiments and the things um, in, in the world, in the earth, man. Not not renewing themselves through the scriptures. And that's what Jake can begin to uh, become lazy through because through laziness comes all all forms of demons. man. You know, you become um lukewarm you'll you'll lose you'll lose confidence in the most high at a drop off on your faith all through laziness man so i'll go here first and i'll uh this is jeremiah chapter one verse five it says before i formed thee in the belly i knew thee before thou camest out of the womb i sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations 
So the Lord said he that he he ordained and sanctified us to do what? To do his will, to do his work, man. And like the brother was going into, this is business. This ain't nothing personal. So if I go in there, and that's the reason Jake get a college degree is to what? To show you, yo, I'm about my business. This guy, he just went to high school and he hoping you give him a hand. Hey, I put in the work to, I deserve to be here. And in that deserving to be here, you got to understand it's nothing personal. I, I, I hired you to do this job. Are you doing this job? If not, get the hell on, bro. You see? But Jake Jake is always, Jake will get in his head too much. Or Jake will let the, the, the world seep into his ears um, and, and throw you off, man. You have something up? Yeah, this is uh, Proverbs 19 and 15. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep. And an idle soul shall suffer hunger. Mm -hmm. So, hey, this is the wrong time to be in that uh, that dull spirit of not producing. That just goes for any uh, aspect in life, you know. But first and foremost, uh, the truth, man. You know, because it says slothfulness cast off into a deep sleep. You don't want to get caught up in this hypnosis, this hip -like, this hypnosis state that this world is producing. When we looking outside and looking at the average person here in Babylon, man, they're in that deep sleep. They're in that. Mm -hmm. They're in that hypnosis because they're, 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 you know, they're, they love the cares of this life. They're looking forward to, uh, opening, opening back up, looking forward to be, uh, every, everything opening back up and living a life. And we know that this world is, uh, passing away. So we can't be in that slothful, dull, languid, uh, what was me spirit. Brothers That's been right. doing lessons this week about, uh, forget about the what if factor. You know, we come into a time where persecution is about to hit we still got to yeah. finish the job yeah 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 <laughs> we still got to uh seal the deal and uh the scripture say um man what's that scripture it says uh yahushua said in john 4 my, my meat is to finish the uh finish the work of the lord basically okay so we got to finish this work man we were calling to this thing and we, we lord willing we uh endure and uh and uh get that crown that yahushua uh promised to the elect in uh second just the second chapter god i go here uh, did you have a precept? No, I'm done. Man. Okay, come. This is Second Peter chapter one verse ten. Well, for the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. So we're supposed to be diligent, man. We're not supposed to be lazy. We're not supposed to be lethargic, you know? And that's a, I, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, man. You know, it's a lot of things that go on in this life and the Lord will allow these things to, uh, hey, come down, hey, when it rains, it pours. But at the end of the day, you still got to give your diligence. The Lord knows what you're going through. The Lord knows what you need. But at the same time, you have got to remember these scriptures. Pray, 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 man. And in, in, in that prayer, you pray for what when you get low or you feel lazy, you feel, feel lukewarm. Lord, I pray you take this spirit off of me. I pray you uh, give me a fervent um spirit of zeal to do your work, man. You see, it says give diligence to make your call and election sure. Because a man is not giving his diligence, it's only one or two things. You don't believe or you, hey, you don't believe, man. And if you don't believe, you know what that is. Or you just tired, man. Jake don't be believing and Jake be tired, man. Jake be lacking faith. Jake be lacking uh, 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 confidence in the Lord. It says give diligence to make your call and election sure. That breeds what? Through diligence breed confidence. You see, in the day of the Lord, how who's going to be confident in the day of the Lord? Only only his servants, man. The Lord said, my servant shall eat, but yours shall weep, but you shall weep. You see, the Lord believes in us, man. So it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't for us to get in this spirit of, I always need a pat on my back. The Lord is constantly patting us on our back if you read the scriptures. The Lord believes in us, man. So you need to start believing in yourself and believing in yourself. If you believe in yourself, you you push away that lazy shit, man. Kobe believed in himself. That didn't mean he didn't get tired, that he didn't get weary, that he didn't get hurt. But he believed in himself enough, man. Why? Because of, of the things that he went through, how the Lord was dealing with him. He saw how the Lord was dealing with it. He knew if I don't put in the work, man, uh, these, these, these talents would be for nothing. It'd be for naught. So he gave his diligence, man. All right. Did you have some? Yeah, Con. This is uh, yep. Matthew 11 and 30. And this is the words of Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, I'll start at verse 29. Well, damn. 28. <laughs> Come unto me, all ye that labor and mm -hmm. are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 
Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. Mm -hmm. And here's the point in 30, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And hey, right now, is the work is not a hard thing to do. It's not a hard thing to turn on the camera and, you know, to take, some, take an article or to see something on TV or news clipping or something that's on social media and do a lesson to it, man. Even Apostle Tahar mentioned his lesson. I forgot what lesson he did this week, but basically he said, we don't have to do an hour long breakdown on the MOTB anymore. You know, a quick, you know, quick two, three scriptures and a 10 minute lesson and that's it. You God. know, we can, we can give 20, however your spirit is, you can give 10, 20, 30 minutes a day to the Lord or, you know, you might not, um, Get to do the lesson that day. Well, it will double up, man. This this ain't really that hard. We got the breakdowns. While the internet is still up, we still got the YouTube. So you can't be lazy when it comes to the doctrine. You know, you can't be lazy when it comes to linking up. Hey, me and this brother right now, we doing the lesson before camp, man. Kind. This brother traveling a whole, uh, really a whole hour, um, an hour and a half out of the way to make sure to to come to camp a whole hour and some change early just so we can get in the lesson, man. That's a brother being diligent. You see, every brother gonna show, gonna exhibit it differently, but a brother's gonna put mm -hmm. what he gonna put forth his all, man. Yeah. Through frustration and all, man. Because this, hey, once you come across, uh, you cross that line, like the brother Gamal y'all always said, man. It's like, look, you gotta get used to taking L's, man. Mm -hmm. And really, it ain't L's. It's frustrations. Yeah. Frustrations. That's all it is. Oh, I'm broke. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to live. you just frustrated because you don't have it right now. Yeah. You know, it's just the, the the majority of the truth is dealing with frustrations, man. You're learning how to deal deal with yourself and learning how to deal with the fact that, hey, everything is not in our hands, man. You see? Mm -hmm. And that's that's a part of Jake. Jake, Jake want to take control. Jake want to be in the spirit of the most high. Like, oh, I got this, I got this. And when they Jake find out that he don't, what did he do? Jake lose faith, Jake lose hope, and Jake start to trust in the very things he can see. And the very things he can see is Esau. Yeah. So what do you do? You you become like Satan, man. You don't become like Yahweh Shah. You had something else. That was it. I don't know. All right, matter of fact, we can end off on that. Um, just read it back, Bible. Because I had a couple of precepts, but I'm going to just hold off for the sake of the spirit. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, Matthew 11. All right, Matthew 11, 28. Well, you know what? I got another preset. Okay. Um, when you say Hebrews, just bear with me. Hebrews chapter 6, and I think it's like verse 10. All right, Hebrews uh, 6 and uh, 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work mm -hmm. and labor of love, Beautiful. which ye have showed towards his name, and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. Mm -hmm. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Verse 12, that you be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. You got it. i read that back, that, that, that last verse. Bible uh, Hebrews 6 and 12, that you be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Yeah, it says, "Be not slothful and be followers of them." And who is that? That's the uh, that's your uh, the apostles and the elders on down, man. To the brother that came in right before you, if he's still in it, when you come in it, it hey, follow his lead. If you don't know what to do, follow the leader, man. Ah, uh, you mimic, you mimic that brother. Yeah. And through 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 mimicking, it becomes it becomes your norm. Mm -hmm. Because I know uh, I get up. Uh, just a quick a quick example I get up now like brothers ain't we ain't training to be no top level athletes but for me I came a harder way coming up hey when I feel bad or something when you get up what you go run I get up and I go run I go do something that's 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 of old that's of you that's of the spirit man you see read that back Bible Gusha. Uh Hebrews 6 and 12 that you be not slothful but follows of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. So what? When you when you build, when you got a, when you have the right foundation that's set like in your youth, because coming into this truth and even now we're still in our youth, we're still learning better habits to build for ourselves. Look at Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Ramla, Apostle Rakah, like these great men. They had to go get it the hard way. Mm -hmm. Now look, look at their work ethic because they they were so used to getting it the hard way. Now things are easy. Yeah. Hey, lessons coming out left and right, man. Mm -hmm. That's what that scripture is speaking on. And you can finish it off. Right? 
Yeah, because uh, we didn't have to go to, to like our pastor elder. We didn't have to go to libraries for hours on hours. We don't. We didn't have camp. Uh, a lot of days, majority of the days during the week, like they did. You know, they're laboring so they can bring in this fruit. So this, this is the least that we can do. This is our reasonable service, man. You know, getting, That's right. getting up for doing the work. You know, reading, studying, praying, fasting. Those are the things uh, that that's uh, needed. And that word um, slothful goes into that word nathros in the Greek, which means dull language. And this ain't the time to be all dull and you know languid and what should I do? You should already mm -hmm. know what to do by now. That's you know right. What I'm that's right. So that's a, that's all I have. All right. Um. Well, I'll finish. Um. Uh, read it back one more time. Bible shot, just a uh, Hebrew six uh, and twelve, that you be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and pro and patience inherit the promises. God. Ecclesiastes chapter twelve verse thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High, keep His commandments, and that just as the brother was bringing out in that precept, for all of these things that we do, man, we fear the Most High and we keep His commandments. And with diligence, you doing the things that are needful to bring forth the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh He ain't gonna forget your um your labors of love. He ain't gonna forget the hardships and things that you went through to uh to bring forth the kingdom and to do His purpose and His will. You know He's not quick to forget that. But at the end of the day, Jacob Jacob forget that and now forget this precept. Hey, for this is the whole duty of man. If this is the whole duty of man, what is, what is the duty of man? To to receive salvation and to be like Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. we're, 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 we, we want to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. So this is the whole duty of man, to go through this. Regardless, at the end of the day, this is what you're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. So it ain't no time for laziness, lethargicness, or, or just that war is me spirit. Mm -hmm. All right? But that's all we had through the spirit. You know, um, if brothers ain't got, you got anything else, all right? Nah. Hey, with that, we want to end out by giving all glory and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash, double understyle apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. To the next time, Shalom. Shalom.